The strength of the program with Erie Community College Fire Protection Technology is it provides a core of information for both professional, volunteer, and sometimes people that sit in the class just to gain knowledge about the fire service. The purpose, of course, is to improve their skills and give them the opportunity to learn management and administration, fiscal, which is not normally taught in the fire services. This program, it brings in people in the industries. They bring in people that are actually in those fields as a full-time employment, bring them in part-time to teach the students what's going on, not only book work, but what's going on in the, in the real world. Yeah, we're at 85, 172, 52, 80, we're climbing, climbing up. The fire protection technology course is a lot different than the fire courses that are taken at the various fire departments on how to operate pumps, how to climb ladder. The college program talks about that, but it also goes beyond that to show the reason why and the theories. Students would be taking classes in the basic fire prevention and protection, fire protection equipment and alarm systems, fire operation strategy, arson fire investigation. We also have a new class dealing with fire internship. The internship program that ECC has in the fire protection technology program puts the student in arson investigation, riding with the arson awareness team, also staying in quarters during the working hours. In addition to the 12 fire protection classes, students must take two classes in English, two classes in chemistry, two in social studies, one in humanities, and one in general science. At least in our lifetime right now, it's one of the largest firefighter loss of life that happened at one single place other than the World Trade Center. So it's something that we really need to, to study and, and understand it. I believe the student needs to bring certain skills into the classroom. Uh, most of the students are coming with just a high school education. Some have advanced education, but are coming back for these, these fire courses. Some of the most basic things that they need, and sometimes they neglect, is the ability to not only read and comprehend, but to be able to write. Students would have to know how to read and write effectively in an attempt to interpret fire codes and standards and be able to assimilate those and promote those in the area of fire prevention. What I hope a student gets out of our program is to become a viable employee in being prepared for any man-made or natural disaster in fire extinguishment and prevention and also informing the public in fire prevention. My goal for them is to gain as much skill and knowledge as possible and use their degree for what it is, a tool for them to advance and to be a well-rounded firefighter or chief of the fire department.